Miss Danielle here, and I got a word for you. So look, you gotta double down. You gotta double down. The verse for this video is Proverbs 16, three. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. So look, some of us, if somebody come up and knock us out, we just gonna lay there and we gonna continue to get beat up. But some of us, we gonna get back up and we gonna fight back. Life is the bully. Life is life. Life be life in. <laughs> okay? But look, we know God. God is here for us. He's on our side. <clears throat> he loves us. And if you want to double down, what, what what you think that means? Some of us, we might not know what it means by like double down. What you talking about double down? When you're doubling down, you're going to continue to do something in a more determined way than you've ever done it. Did y'all see Creed 3? When Creed went back to the ring and he got knocked out and, you know, he thought he lost his juice. He thought he wouldn't creed no more. And then he started he started back training. He got back in the gym. He started building himself back up. And he was failing in that too. He was like, man, I may not be able to do it. But then he made up in his mind that I'm going to win. I'm creed. I'm Apollo Creed. I'm going to win. I don't care who I'm going up against. I'm going to win. When he made up in his mind that he was going to win and he came back to the fight, he gave it all he got. He gave it all he had. Like, he won. He did that. And it's because he made up in his mind that he's not going to back down. He's not going to give up. It's something that's on your heart. It's something you're going through. It's something you're doing and you keep failing. You're not really succeeding. But it's because you gave up. It's not because you can't do it. It's because you gave up. It's because you didn't double down. <laughs> it's because you you got a timid mindset. You need to have a bodacious mindset. You need to have a, a mindset that says, like, if, if something happens, if something deters me, I'm going to find another way. And you need to be doing this for righteousness sake, not for wickedness. So look, verse Proverbs 16, 3 tells us to commit to the Lord whatever you do. If you're committing your ways to God, if you're doing things in a in a matter that glorifies God, it says he's going to establish your plans. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. So look at your plans. Some of us, our plans, they're not, they not adding up. Why, why is this your plan? Why are you planning this? You know, it's not adding up with God's will for your life. And then you're wondering, why am I not succeeding? What's going on? What's What's happening? It's because you didn't commit to the Lord what you were doing. You didn't commit your ways to the Lord. You didn't commit your heart to God. You didn't commit to him first. You're doing it out of order. You think like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this money right now. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to do it like this. And then when I get there, then I'm going to give God the glory. And eh, wrongo. And eh, wrong. He wants you to commit to him first. Then he will establish your plans. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper. God's plans is better than yours. He wants you to prosper. He don't want you in lack. He don't want you to without. He don't want you alone. It's not good for man to be alone. But in order for you to have this, this breakthrough, this change, you got to change up your mind and the way you're thinking. And you got to double down. Once you get that right mindset, that's when you got to double down. You got to bite down like can't nobody stop you. You feel me? Like, and you're not going to let up. They might keep turning you around like, nah, you know, we're going to go with this candidate. We're going to go with this one. Yeah, all right. Thank you. God bless you. I'll be back. <laughs> you're not qualified yet. All right. I'll be back. Like, stop letting these people turn you around and kick you out the door. Come back. And when you come back, come back better. Come back harder. Do not put your head down. But you do need to double down. God is calling his people to a higher level. He wants us all to be working for the kingdom. Imagine that. If the kingdom gets to working together. If the kingdom gets to uniting. Gets to know each other, loving each other correctly. Imagine that. Y'all got all these other groups and gangs and this and the cliques and this and that. Imagine if the kingdom gets together. And we ain't just talking about the old church church folk that be at church every Sunday. We talking about 
you know, everybody. We talking about the elders' children, the children, the elders' children, children. Like we talking about the whole kingdom. Imagine if they get together. Do y'all know that God blesses unity? Why you think colored people still in lack? We don't know how to work together. We don't know how to sit down and abide to one authority. And we not even we not even talking about them as authority. We talking about somebody in our group being the authority. Like we don't know how to listen. We don't know how to compromise. We don't know how to come together. So guess what? Going to continue to be in lack. Going to continue to not have, you know, leadership in the community. Going to continue to be misrepresented. Going to continue to do this, continue to do that. And those people who are wise, those people who know what I'm talking about, they're not even using their voices for real. They're talking about dumb stuff that don't matter. Imagine if people did what they were supposed to do. Just imagine. This world that we came to, we, we could take it over. <laughs> I'm talking about for the kingdom's sake, not for our sake, but for God's kingdom's sake. Like, imagine that. But it takes us all to get in on one accord in order for things to start shifting. It takes us all to be doing what we're supposed to do instead of what we're not supposed to do for things to start changing. And it takes us committing our ways to God. Yeah, that's what it's going to take. It don't, it don't it ain't gonna take nothing else it ain't hard when god sees that his children start to listen to him and obey him and work together and love each other and be unified that's when he's gonna <laughs> pour down from heaven cup gonna be so full it's gonna be running over it's gonna be too many blessings the things we's worrying about now we won't even have to worry about them like psh, he has a land flowing with milk and honey for you I man you sitting around in a desert because you don't want to listen. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, bro. Stop playing around. Make sure that what you're doing is a part of God's will for your life. Stop doing everything that you want to do and just surrender. A way you can do this is fast. Fasting is going to humble you. And when you come off your fast, your mind is going to be clear. And you have to choose to listen to God. You can't choose to just get back and see your fleshly desires. You have to choose to be like, okay, God, thank you. I'm ready. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm a willing and open vessel because that's what God's looking for. He's not looking for the next big thing. He's looking for somebody who's willing and who's an open vessel to use. And when he uses you, he's going to take you to mountaintops. So look, remember, you got to double down. I got to double down. I got to get to it. I got to put my head down and do the work. I can't let what they think about me fool me or trick me out of my spot. I got to remember that there's beauty in my struggle. I got to remember that God is God. I got to remember that the Lord said vengeance is mine. I got to remember that I have a healing spirit. I got to remember that I got a way. I got to remember that God wants me to understand this. Like, God is here for me. He loves me. And I'm his. When you know who you are, you know what you can do because you know who you are. You're confident. So look, I hope this message blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.